this is my last video for now for me not for you guys but my last video of the week so what up mates it's Omega Dragon welcome back for some more Paper Mario the Origami King last time we explored the whole fire belly mental shrine and we can come back in it anytime we want but this time we are going to call our boot car. I'm going to use the whistle because I have no idea where the boot car is. Beep beep. And I think it wasn't that far, but it's better than just walking there. It takes a little bit of a shorter time. And don't worry, they say the same things. That's why I'm not reading them. So. I'm going to one of the towers first, and that tower is the left one. You can see that their eyes are glowing, but I haven't done anything to the fire. And I'm going to this tower first, first things first though, I'm going to dig these out. I swear I've gotten two gold hammers but not two gold jumps. I didn't mean to press X. If these towers are actual toads, I just bet they'd be happy with a little more light, don't you think? I was getting there. Live. What if you take this one out? I got three coins. Oh well, whatever. I'm going to sniff city before. And now Professor Toad is going to see me. Is going to see Olivia turn into the fire belly mental for the first time. Whoa, it's spinning! Can it be the fire belly mental's magic circle? Time for the magic again. Turning off my commentary yet again, and then I'll skip the rest of it. I'm sorry about the audio change, but I keep my touchpad as being annoying. So I'm betting you guys were like hearing like mutes for like a second. It was like, mm, mm. and it was the fire breathing. It was like, I can't even say it. I can't even copy it. But. It was because of my stupid touchpad. I thought that my right hand was on click, but that was just me touching the touchpad. Olivia, you burned up. Amazing. They didn't teach this in school. And I minored in re regenerative immolation. Wow, I really lit up this space. Oh my gosh. I set all of that black water on fire. That's not black water, Olivia. It's oil. Now it's bright in here. Wow, good lighting sure makes a difference. One down. 
Oh yeah, I actually remembered what happens. Hee. <laughs> I knew what was going to happen this time, so I didn't fall down. I remembered what the center is going to be. And it's something that would pretty much surprise you. Oh, this one changed direction too. Ha! I have a lot of coins. So I'm going to two places after this. Oh. Two places I'm going is to the center where I will summon something, you'll see, or where I'm going to read something. I just spoiled what's going to happen, but I'm going to read something. And then I'm going to Sniff City again and buying the collectible treasure from the shop and buying a Silver Guard Plus, probably a Silver Time Plus as well. I'm going to Sniff City first, why not? I'll park, and then I will buy the thing. So, I'm going to the shop, and I know that you guys must think that this is a pain to watch because I'm not editing this, but it's pretty much because I barely ever edit these videos because I don't really like editing that much, like you already know. So I'm first going to buy the collectible treasure from, the, from this shop, 16,800 coins. But I can, I can use the membership card to make it cheaper. Here is how. Twenty percent discount. Hello there. Welcome to the Shroom City Shop. Now it's cheaper. Collectible treasure number sixty-five. Sniff City Royal Hotel. And that's it. And I'm also going to get this. Hang on, it says that you've cool that you've spent more than thirty thousand coins. A savvy shopping shopper like you deserves a special reward. Allow me to present you with Rumble Bleed. <clears throat> the silver membership card. Gives you a 30% discount on weapons and items in shops. Before you shop, go to accessories in the pause menu and equip that card. If you maintain this shopping streak, I'll bump your membership card up to get you better deals. And now I get the shiny hurl hammer. A stronger option for long range hammer attack. I haven't even gotten the normal hurl hammer yet. It's not even possible to get. I swear it is, but I haven't even gotten it yet. I think the shiny hurl hammer is the only hurl hammer, but that makes no sense to me. So I have the silver membership card, and I'm going to the fun, funky, and functional shop to get either a silver guard plus, which is very dullable, or let's just see what I can get. Oh, it doesn't affect this shop at all. So never mind. Now I'm de-equipping it. Yeah, de-equipping. Probably it's just called unequipping, but I call it de-equipping to make it funnier. Probably, probably even more annoying. So now. I'm gonna look for shiny spots, which I very much bet, and I was right that there were none. And I'm going to dig around the feet to see what I see, see how much I get. Nothing here. 
Nothing there. Just wanted to see because you never know. Some there were feet. There are riches underneath statue's feet. Here I go. Do you want to skip the whole performance this time? Yes. That's what I meant by skipping, by the way. It even means skipping the awesome fire breathing. But if you want to see another one, I'll show you guys the final dramatic fire breathing. I just skipped the third one so that I wouldn't annoy you. It's starting to look more clear. Professor, are you okay? Oh, oh yes. Sorry about that. I suppose I'm not as swashbuckling as some of my colleagues. One more. And it's in the far west. Now this tower is facing in a new direction too. We must all do that, huh? It's not too bad to get to the other tower and I have something to say, and I'll just say it now. Even though I've said it in a lot of my videos, probably not a lot, but like in a couple of videos. There are... Well, not there are, I was going to say that I may be a quiet YouTuber. Or a YouTuber that barely commentates through games. And the reason is because I am not very talkative through gaming, of course, I could blame my autism for it, but it's not really my autism either. It's just sort of because when I play alone, I don't really talk much because I focus throughout the whole game. And I don't have much of an interesting thing to say anyways. I'm not going to skip this one. I'm just going to show you the fire breathing, and then that will be it. How did that look different? She was perched. I thought she was flying the last time. Final one. I'm prepared to be surprised because I was surely surprised the first time I played through this one. Of course, this is my second time. It is actually. A summon Earth Elemental. For your surprise, and I actually thought it was text, but it wasn't. It was the Earth Elemental summon. Wait, I don't need to fall down. Do I? I'm floating. Mario fell down because Olivia said that, and so did Captain Toad. All right, I keep saying that. It's Professor Toad. I'm so used to Captain Toad being your ally, and I'm never used to. Professor Toad being the ally this time. Yep, this one turned also. So I feel bad for not really talking much, even though I pretty much shouldn't be because that's just that's just who I am, and yeah, I feel bad for it because I don't want to bore you guys through my videos, and that's and I sometimes feel like that's why I don't have much or very many subscribers is because of my lack of commentary but it's pretty much because I just focus throughout the whole game and I don't know how to save that toad up there I swear it's possible but I have no idea how I'm gonna just see if I can I swear there has to be a way What the heck? You have to just go up there. But there's no way up there. 
So how the heck do you even rescue him? My other bet is that there's a coconut or something in the tree that gives you a thousand hold arms in order to rescue that toad up there. And I... but I don't know otherwise. And I bet I'm not supposed to go across here. doesn't matter. I'll do, I'll get to that later. Probably would look up a guide on how to rescue that toad because I have no idea how to. And he's so obviously placed. Ah, Professor, this is where the yellow streamer seems to end. We know that it goes deeper, but we can't dig down to reach the spool and disconnect it. Very well. Allow me to translate the ancient description. Darkness looms, the desert sand entombs, the temple of shrooms. Oh no, it doesn't say anything about how to get into the sand. My goodness, it must be a reference to the temple of shrooms. Can it be that the ancient temple is buried here, slumbering beneath the sand? Whoa, that would be amazing. I'm imagining falling asleep under a sand without a bed or blankets or anything like that. Maybe I'm... Well, maybe when we wake up in the temple... Uh -huh. Maybe when we wake up the temple to get to the streamer, we can risk... I can't read! We can ask how it did that. Well, this looks different. Something light up? Was this here before? Whoa, could it be the Earth Elemental's magic circle? I'm not that. I have to go around. It's time to summon the Earth Elemental. I'm going to skip this scene because you've seen it a lot of times. Prepare for its first roar. It doesn't do its cheer reading. But it does do the rise animation. Rise! Rise! Temple of Shrooms. Goodness, this must be the Temple of Shrooms itself. So this is what it meant by desert sand and tombs. Ah, the ancient ones do, did love a good cryptic hint. Now that the temple is awake, do you think we can follow the streamer? It leads into the crack, see? You're right. The streamer certainly appears to terminate inside the temple. Come on, let's go find the entrance. The entrance is to the front. You should have seen it for yourself. Sand is purple. What is that actually sand? Yep. And it's quiet. Just wind. Let's go inside a pretty interesting temple. Hmm, yes. It seems that this may be the final resting place of the ancient king Shroomses. I said king. King! Maybe this, maybe I'll record one more video after this one and it will be, and it will be the boss fight video. Because there, there is a boss indeed in this place. I've also discovered that a sort of safety mechanism was responsible for burying the temple in the sand. When the sun went out, the temple retreated into the earth for safekeeping. Oh, so the temple wasn't just taking a nap or something. Er, no, it's a king's temple. So it was designed this way to ward off intruders, interlopers, infidels, and er, 
unauthorized visitors. In any case, we should be quite careful as we explore. The temple is almost certainly rigged with traps. And there might be new enemies. Not these guys. Wah, spiders! Very sure there are new en enemies here, though. What's down here? Just coins. Let's just go inside. Scuttlebug, not new enemies. So maybe there aren't any new enemies here. Here comes a confusing puzzle again. I have no idea what to do here. Darn it, how, does, how the heck do I do it in two moves? It's possible to do it in three, but not in two. I'm always, I'm always so the eye clerk by that. But at least I healed. So I've equipped new stuff other than the shiny hurl hammer being in bad shape. Gold boots first, and then I'll use the shiny iron boots. That's why I press A on time, and they, has, and they do have 20 health, I think. I don't want to break the iron boots even further, so the next one will be the old key weapon, the shiny hurl hammer. Fold arms. I did actually force that down. Like use my arm motion. Because I'm sitting. I think I forgot I think I remembered how to do this. Left sign is more useful. And this is what they mean by left sign is more useful. I was so confused by this. Ah, this one is very complex. The grammar of, is of an ancient type, even for ancient writing. Goodness, even the intro interrobangs have been reversed. This will take me some time, I'm afraid. I was stuck on this for a very long time, but getting the fact that Professor Toad just takes so long to read this is pretty funny, but that's what you need him to do. And the door has been opened. Can you keep that racket down while I'm translating? Now, where was I? Whoa, when did that happen? To be honest, I could spend a few more hours on the left side of text. But I suppose the time isn't right. Very well. Onward. It's dark. It's quite dark in here, even for an ancient temple. As a scholar and scientist, I don't believe in ghosts or similar nonsense. But I don't like this feeling. Show yourself, gold! God, it was my own shadow. Oh, this isn't good. 
stick here, my good man. There's a trap of incoming. Never mind. Okay, now tell me you saw that. Was it just a strange shadow? You can't tell me it's just my imagination. Are you kidding me right now? Only three off, or five, whatever it is. It's about to be a trap. You stay too close! Mario, what hit you? Logic dictates that this isn't a thing, but could it have been the temple's curse? It was the black shy guy. You can't battle that shy guy, sadly. That just happened mysteriously. Unless you could, but I have no idea how. Was it something? Tell me it was nothing. I just. I must make it out of here to publish my findings. Nothing. Me. I'm about to run out of confetti. I need to find an enemy. There, there are some. There is something buried under here. Heh. <laughs> Never mind. There might not be. Oh well. Build up something. Next time in Paper Mario, the Origami King is going to be a long one. We are going to explore the whole temple and see what's going on. And it will be a long video. I'm very sure I can make through make it through this in one video next time. This whole temple, by the way. Bye! But if it takes me a half an hour to get to one of the parts I'm hoping to get to in less than that, then I will have to cut it there. And I will leave it as a cliffhanger for next week for me.